how to collect rainwater and then save them in the soil, in the ground, as much as they, we can. It's the most important thing now. Because everywhere we use pesticides, we kill the grass, we kill everything. There's nothing to protect the soil. When the rain comes, the water from the rain always flows very fast. The water, the rain water, have no time to sip into the ground, to penetrate to the ground. Because it's so slow and nothing to block it. That's why we have drought in many areas. Because the water underground decreased very fast. No new rain water to feed it. To make the swell is the way to keep rainwater underground. To dig the swell in the area, when the rain comes, the water will go to stay in the swell. Even five minutes or ten minutes, the water in the swell can seep into the ground very quick. This way, it helps to fill up table water underground. It helps the trees in our land to be able to grow even in dry season because water underground is higher. The root can go down and touch the water easily. This is the easy way to keep rainwater in the soil as much as we can. If we keep doing like this everywhere, we will decrease flood a lot because water has no not much time to run to the river because they were keep in the swell and then they sink into the ground this is the way to chain the bald head mountain into a mohawk mountain we dig the swell like this on top of the hill with no trees and then collect rain water in the ground. Not very really long that mountain turned to Mohawk mountain. Tree grow on top of the mountain. This is the way we work it here. It's very interesting way. To dig the swell, they have one tool they call A-frame. A-frame is the tool to check where is the contour line. The swell, we need to dig along the contour line. Even the land slope down like this. Many people who have experience, they can see by their eyesight where is the same level. When we dig the swell, the water will not go to one side of the swell. It will be in the swell evenly. To find the contour line, we have one tool we call a frame to check it. A frame is very simple and easy too. I will show you how to use it. How to use a frame? The first thing is we need to look at the land. When it slopes down like this, we want to start the contour line or the, a, the swell from here. We mark it first. We mark one spot. And then this is a frame. We put one end where we mark and then we put one end where we mark and then we move this end to looking for the place where the string will lie up with the center of this place. That end and this end is the same level, it's the same in the, in the con that's what we call contour line because it's in the same level. If we dig from here to there, fill up, if we, when we fill up with water, the water will not go on, will not flow to one side only. The water will be in the trench evenly. So after that, we mark that end and move this to another side. And check the string to make sure that the string lined up with the center line.
of the A-frame. And then we mark that end and keep going like that. Keep going like that. So we will know the line that we call contour line. And then we can dig follow the place where we mark it. Keep doing like that. We will get the good swell. The line from one spot that we mark to another spot, we can dig to make the simple line like this first. And then we can come back and dig it deeper, deeper after that. That is what we call swell. This is how the line look like. Even it's in the slope, different kind of slope, but it will be in the same level. It will hold water evenly. The water will not flow to one end at all. The simple way to make a frame, we don't need to use the metal to make a frame like I did before. We can use bamboo or any long stick. We can cut them two piece the same size. It can be small, it can be big, it's up to you. If your land is very big, it's good to make a frame big because it can go fast if it's big. But if we make it small, it will go slow. So we need two pieces of wood or metal the same size. And after we got it, we spread them out like this and what and tie one end together. We can use wire or any string, tie them together. Only one end. And another end, we are going to put another piece of wood tie on it. We need to make sure that the three sides of the triangle have to be even, have to be the same side. Make sure that it's even, because if it's not even, it will not correct when we use it. So this part, after we check it, we tie it very well, so it will not move. It's good to use wire or string to tie, it's okay. After we tie both ends together, it's good to recheck again to make sure that it's exactly the same size, all three sides. Then we need to find where is the center of the bottom piece of a frame. This, the center will be like the main spot that we need to compare with the string that hanging down. So this is the center, halfway of the length of this piece is the center. So mark it very well. We can see it clear. After we mark the line at the center of the bottom part of the line, the wood, then we will get a string to tie on top of the triangle. It can be any string that is not too big. And at the end of the string, we try something heavy on it. So if we pull the string straight down, we can see the line and the string pair up easily. After we tie the string, when we pull it up, the string can move easily like this. So we try to move one end of the A-frame to looking for where is the best spot that the A-frame, the string will light up with the line, the center line. That is mean both end of the A-frame's leg are even. So if we dig from one leg to another leg, that's the even swell. So we keep moving like this all around our land. This is what we call the sand, the contour line that will help us to make less mistake 
in digging swell. After that, we start to draw the line from each spot to another spot. Every spot will, will be drawn, connect together. All this line is contour line. This is the easiest way to know where it's in the same level. And we can dig it after that, after we make the line ready. This is the ready contour line that we dug a while ago. It don't need to be very deep, especially when the soil is sandy. The water can seep underground very fast. But if it's clay, we can make it deeper than this. This is perfect. The swell is one way to keep rainwater underground as much as we can. If we keep doing like this, we can decrease drought and flooding a lot. If we do it enough, we will have no problem with flood at all or drought because table water underground is going to be higher. It's good. The forest will be green all the time. It's very simple and easy solution for us now.